Any seasoned film fan worth their salt knows that a troubled production doesn't always necessarily spell bad news for the quality of a film, and sometimes doesn't even mean that the flick's box office returns will suffer. Oftentimes, classics may be delayed through no fault of their own, and when these classics make it to the screen, the extra wait time is easy to bear once the audience sees how great the film in question is. Just look at The Cabin in the Woods, filmed in 2009 and not released until 2012, and still awesome. However, sometimes a troll production is evidence that too many cooks have been interfering with a delicate recipe, and the balance has been thrown off for good. In the examples we've listed here, these projects were delayed pre-release just to ensure that the eventual release would be as good as possible, only for said release to flop and prove that the delay did no good after all. With that in mind, I'm Will Ford Culture, and here are 10 movies delayed to get it right that still got it wrong. 10. Dark Phoenix there was a time, not so long ago, that the X-Men franchise was one of the most exciting active franchises in production. First Class and Days of Future Past had revived the main timeline, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine was killing it, and we even had Deadpool on the way alongside the iconic villain Apocalypse. And then things started to fall apart as Apocalypse underwhelmed and all of a sudden the decision to redo the Dark Phoenix saga wasn't all that exciting. Then came one of the most protracted and notorious production stories of all time, which included heavy Heavy rewrites, a completely scrapped third act, and a different story entirely. The studio delayed the film again and again, which already had a planned post-production period of a year, hoping to fix problems with early cuts. When it came out in June 2019, the proof that it hadn't worked was in the sloppy, disappointing pudding they served up. 9. Freddy vs. Jason Way back in the mid-80s, the slasher ruled the cineplex as far as horror fans were concerned. Sure, glory splatterfix were gaining ground thanks to the likes of John Carpenter's The Thing, but the low budget required by slashers and their exploitable formats meant that they were the most reliable cash cow subgenre for studios until found footage reared its ugly head. In this cinematic heyday for gory slashers, Freddy and Jason were the twin titans, and most fans were desperate to see the pair face off. As such, Sean S. Cunningham began attempting to make the crossover happen in 1987. What followed was over a decade and a half of infighting over rights, studio swaps, and halted attempts at putting the film together, with countless reboots ranging from Wes Craven's New Nightmare to Jason X existing to keep the flagging franchises alive long enough for an epic showdown. Then 2003 finally saw the release of Bride of Chucky Helmer, Ronnie Yu's long-awaited Freddy vs. Jason, which was kind of alright? Nothing special, a passable slasher, which failed to take advantage of either titular horror icon and ultimately left audiences disappointed. 8. Red Dawn It's fair to say that the world did not really need a remake of Red Dawn. The original flick had a pretty spotty production history of its own, having begun its life as an ardently anti-war film, sort of like Lord of the Flies, according to one producer, only to become transformed into a shamelessly xenophobic tract praising the US military and scaremongering against the nefarious Red Ruskies. But that transformation is nothing compared to the disastrous remake. Shot in 2009 with a cast of then up-and-coming stars like Josh Peck, and the future Thor, Chris Hemsworth. Shelved until 2012, the film had to be altered to remove any references to the invading Chinese army who the heroes are fighting, since US-China relations had since cooled off and the plot point would have come across as needlessly provocative. Instead, viewers got a murky, muddled mess of a flick wherein North Korea were the baddies. But really, we all knew Hollywood greed was the real villain here. 7. Cursed Wes Craven is a legend. I mean, the man created Freddy Krueger, for God's sake, and I won't hear a bad word about him. And you know what? Scream scribe Kevin Williamson gave us that classic slasher series, the vintage throwback I Know What You Did Last Summer, and Dawson's Creek, so he's pretty cool too. That said, when the pair reunited in 2005 to film Cursed, a werewolf horror comedy, the troubled production really should have clued them in to the fact that the collaboration was doomed. The film was practically in cineplexes when Dimension, the studio backing Williamson and Craven, demanded rewrites which jettisoned its central serial killer hunting plot, cut out a bunch of roles, and even replaced it SFX maestro Rick Baker, despite the artist creating one of cinema's greatest werewolf transformations decades before. Inevitably, this was all for naught, as the studio's changes softened the hard R horror rating into a PG-13 catastrophe which sank with both audiences and critics, and was soon forever forgotten. 6. Last Action Hero 
Where do you even start with this one? The 1993's action source of comedy flop was delayed more times than almost any other film on this list, with each portion of its production heralding new problems for screenwriters, directors, cast and crew. Initially a broad spoof of action movies inspired by The Simpsons, the script's first draft was rewritten to be less violent by lethal weapon scribe Shane Black. This draft was itself revised by diehard director John McTiernan, who didn't care for its satirical edge, which was kind of the whole point of the film, and made more of a straight action movie. This extended series of rewrites left the filmmakers little time to shoot and even less time to edit, resulting in the tonally inscrutable flick which was eventually released to a bemused and unamused audience in 1993. 5. This Means War This 2012 rom-com action movie mashup wasn't a highly anticipated franchise installment. Following two spies who fall for the same unassuming civilian, the film casts Chris Pine and Tom Hardy just as the two became household names, and hoped to co-spy on their easygoing, affable charm. However, the film was a flop, despised by critics and ignored by audiences, and its director wouldn't shoot another success until 2017's The Babysitter. So what went wrong? Well, maybe it's telling that the symptoms writer Larry Doyle saw a draft of the script as early as 1996, wherein the pair were software developers, meaning the project was in turnaround for at least a decade and a half. Add to that the fact that Chris Rock, Martin Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, and Sam Worthington were all attached to star at various points before opting out, and it starts to become clear that the myriad of delays faced by this flick were warning signs of its eventual dud status. 4. The Predator Shane Black's belated addition to the beloved Predator franchise finally hit our screens in 2018, and after four different release dates, the R-rated action thriller was a disappointment for Black's fans. The film was in trouble from the start, with a leaked script raising eyebrows across the internet, but the real sign of an upcoming flop came when the filmmakers wouldn't cop to how much of the flick had been reshot and remained tight-lipped about the reasons why. Black claimed the climax was reshot to go from daytime to night, Edward James almost claimed that his part had been written out, and Arnie himself refused to appear, despite leaked script pages revealing Dutch in the film's closing scenes. The eventual film was not worth the attention heaped onto its production, a lesser entry into the franchise which combined some cool ideas with a lot of missteps to create an altogether below average outing for the alien's natural foe. 3. Sahara one of a handful of flops for true detective star Matthew McConaughey, this Clive Cussler adaptation was delayed almost as many times as Last Action Hero. The author managed to net much more creative control than is normal for a writer having their work adapted to film, resulting in a string of screenwriters being hired and fired as they attempted to fix Cussler's own attempt at a script for the flick. When the script was finally complete, Cussler complained that his conservative producer wouldn't allow the filmmakers to shoot the violent R-rated thriller he wanted whilst the production itself squandered millions of dollars in bribes for Moroccan authorities in order to film in their territory. The movie stretched way over budget and the public lost interest in the resulting film, with the behind the scenes drama earning more press than the movie itself. When the long delayed film finally hit screens in 2005, it was to little fanfare and the potential series was soon forgotten as an embarrassing footnote in Hollywood history. 2. Phone Booth of all the entries on this list, Phone Booth holds the debatably impressive record of being the longest delayed release by far, with the initial idea for the project taking over four decades to reach the screen. Originally, Phone Booth was to be an Alfred Hitchcock film, and in the intervening decades, stars as varied as Will Smith, Jim Carrey, and even Mel Gibson were attached to star in the film. Eventually, it was filmed with the then man of the moment Colin Farrell in the central role. When the film was finally released, an unimpressed critical consensus and uninterested public proved that the delays were scarcely worth the wait for a fairly run-of-the-mill thriller with little to recommend outside its clever premise. 1. Halloween – The Curse of Michael Myers in more ways than one, Michael Myers really is the guy who just won't die. Despite the relative failure of the series' sequel installments, Mustafa Akkad was insistent that Myers needed another cinematic outing, prompting him to purchase a script which explored the Celtic curse which kept Michael coming back. Said script was revised more than 10 times before production began, prompting cast member Danielle Harris to walk off set in protest due to her character being killed unceremoniously. Production was further delayed with the firing of one director, the replacing 
of another producer and the unavoidable problem of weather disturbances on set. The eventual film was delayed even further when test audiences despised the Celtic curse plotline. Surprise, surprise. Prompting extensive reshoots despite the fact that pivotal star Donald Pleasance had died in the interim. What was eventually released remains the series' lowest point and most maligned entry, proving that stalling for time isn't always enough to save a project. And there you have it folks, 10 movies delayed to get it right that still got it wrong. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at youslidedogu. I'm Will for Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.